Dragon Con. Um, we are back with uh, Andrea and Rachel, who are amazing oh. uh, animators slash storyboard oh, artists. Okay. And no, they're amazing. Don't <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> Basically, we're going to have them talk about them, but don't listen to what they're saying. That's what. That's the point of this interview. That kind of happens. Yeah. That's fine. I, don't, I never listen to what I'm saying <laughs> either. <so>. No, <laughs> it's okay. no. no, they're incredibly talented, and they are very, very gracious sure. to come talk to us. Um, they both are in Austin, Texas, Texas. and they've come Andy. to Dragon Con. It's their first con, so it's amazing. Um, and they've just been introduced to the chaos that is Dragon Con. It's, so it's, welcome. It's very <laughs> daunting. There's so many good people. There's so there. many people. There's so many people. And everyone looks really good. There's yeah. like 80,000 plus people this year. 80,000 yeah. plus? Yeah. That so plus is what messes me up. So it's yeah. like, I've heard 80,000, I've heard 82,000, I've heard 85. Someone said 100,000, and I was like, that's a small nation. Like, I can't. <laughs> it really is. It's yeah. pretty insane. If um, Were you at the, the parade this morning? No. We we missed it, we but we saw, saw it from it. our hotel window. Okay. I actually almost freaked out because I, I opened the curtain and I was like, "There's a giant mass of people on the street. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's it happening? Surprise. Yeah." <laughs> and and then I opened it further and was like, "Oh, okay. Everybody's actually just lining across the street." And this was at like mm -hmm. like eight thirty a.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah this You're was like, super oh, early. Yeah. It starts really early. Yeah. We um, Alex, who's our TD, who's amazing back there. Mm -hmm. um, she was uh, she was helping set up with all the other people mm -hmm. at 6 a.m. this morning for all True. the camera work and You're everything. Hero. So, <laughs> hero. Hero. so it, it starts very early. Mm -hmm. And then the parade doesn't even start till 10, so you'd think 6 a.m., what? But it's still chaotic all the way up mm -hmm. until, okay. until 10. Yeah. But um, cool. Well, um, have you been able to do anything at con so far? We um, we had a pretty full day yesterday. Like yeah. we, we flew in yesterday from Austin yeah. super early, mm -hmm. had some things at the airport that I don't we, even want to talk about. Yeah, but, it, but essentially we got here so early that we were we just like went straight to the hotel, we got all our registration done, and then we were able to just kind of take a look at like just how big the space was. Oh and like even then when we came in, we were like, this is a lot of people. Like mm -hmm. this is crazy to see like all these cosplayers. <laughs> it took us 20 minutes to get to our hotel room. We, yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we essentially were, we were like in a labyrinth mm -hmm. maze. We had to do like a conga line few times. We did, sure yeah. that we, like, running from panel to panel. I yeah. have a backpack that has a handle on it, so Rachel was just like, I'm holding on. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it had it a PA in front of us. Felt like, like a Disney ride. Everywhere. It was pretty cool, though. Yeah. Um, it reminds me, that's what it is, it reminds me of the crowds at Disney, because everyone's really <laughs> excited, and everyone knows exactly where we're going. Yeah, it's true. I mean, true. We, we're, we both went to school in Florida, so we're very knowledgeable yeah. about Disney. Di <laughs> Disney. Disney World. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is pretty chaotic. If you don't have a plan, you kind of just have to go with the flow. It's like a tide. Yeah. And yeah. you just have to follow it. The cool thing, the cool thing I like is that I have the app on my phone, mm -hmm. and I was just looking around, like, oh, what? We should do something. Like, it's like, it's like 8 p.m. Like the beers yeah. hall and everything is closed. I kind of want to go to Artist Alley for a bit, but I can go because there's three more days of this convention. It's huge. Um, and I was like, oh, there's there's this K-pop dance party. We should go. <laughs> to which I was um, like, I don't know anything about K-pop. I but. know too much about K-pop. <laughs> he knows too much about I, K-pop. This is all I do while I work is just listen to K-pop. It's a good um, pastime. It is very good. Um, and so we decided to go to the K-pop dance party. And we were there for like two and a half hours. Just like. It was, nice. it was, it was, uh, what do the kids call it? Lit? Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is, is that it? That's the most millennial thing you've ever is said. It? I'm so glad. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't say millennial. Thing. I say, I say lit non ironically, okay. but I do not dab. Yeah, you do. I you dab. I dabbed once. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah, the truth is out. Anyway, we don't talk about dabbing. <sighs> but in any but case, it's been really fun. It's yeah. been great. We uh, we actually had a small panel um, okay. when we first came in, which was like, another crazy thing too. It's like flying in really early. Oh yeah, I flew going in, to the hotel, had a panel like an hour later, looking through, yeah. and then yeah, we. What ended did you up, end up talking about? Um, it was a. Uh, it was animators unite. Oh my god, okay. yeah. It was uh, animators unite. So we were talking. It was me and Rachel as a three D animators, and then, okay. well, three D people. Yeah, she's not an animator. I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> she explicitly tells people I, she's not I an do, animator. I do tell you this, but yeah, I, I can move things at least. Yeah, we sure. um, <laughs> she can move things. <laughs> um, and then it was two other two D animators, one from Canada and one from, from here in here, town. Right? Yeah, local from Bento Box. I, yeah. John yeah. and Dan? John and Dan. John and Dan. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, John. If it's wrong, I'm really sorry, John <laughs> and Dan. You're John and Dan now. Um, and we just spoke about like how it is working in the industry. Like we all had very different like they had been in the industry much longer than us. 
Mm -hmm. um, so they had their own stories, and we had our own stories from like being relatively new to mm -hmm. the workforce. Yeah. So it was really interesting. We had a lot of people that had re really good questions. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It was super cool. And if anything, I think my favorite part was the fact that like those guys have been in the industry for so long that some of the stuff that they were talking about was stuff that we were watching yeah. when we were mm -hmm. just starting yeah. off. Yeah. Someone was like. Reboot. Uh, and I well, was like, Reboot? Reboot. <laughs> reboot was essentially like, yeah, that was Yeah, we both really, just really went cool. If and any went, I didn't work on Reboot. <laughs> like, okay, well. <laughs> but still, like that was probably like one of the cooler things. And especially that's something at Dragon Con that I realized is that just like there's so many creatives here. Mm -hmm. Um, to the point where you're just you're like, Oh, okay, I think that name sounds familiar. Oh, right. That guy worked on like the show that inspired me. Yeah, two it's years ago yeah. or, or five years ago, which is which really is, cool to it's see. So cool. That's super awesome. Yeah, yeah, like I'm. We're we're at the Walk of Fame, and we're sitting next to the voice of Space Ghost, like George Lowe. We just no, sat down, and I was like, Oh, hey. And then <laughs> what is it? And then Doctor Ventress sat next to us, and I was like, What the heck? Oh, I didn't. I don't know. Who, I don't know who's sitting Sorry. next to us on the other side. I, I but I, I love. I it. got overwhelmed. I. It's definitely been super cool to see like just all the talent that's here, mm -hmm. and like also meet other other people that are attending because we just mentioned the cosplayers um we had, we had a lot of cosplayers from so um many good cosplayers. yeah so we work at rooster teeth so we work on ruby um and i don't and red versus blue as well but i don't know if we've seen any red versus blue cosplayers yet no nope, but we've seen plenty, but of, we've ruby seen plenty of ruby cosplayers and we're all super nice and we always come <laughs> up and we're like hey and i'm like i love your costume <laughs> Uh, it's just really seeing sweet. Seeing it come to life. Yeah, seeing yeah. it come to life is always mm -hmm. like my favorite, one of my favorite things about like going to conventions. Cause I go to, I go to conventions a lot as an artist, mm -hmm. like in artist alleys and stuff, and even as a fan, cause I cosplay as well. I was just about to ask you if you, if either of you cosplay. Yeah, I cosplay. I, I cosplay. I want to get her into it. I've never cosplayed. I do want to cosplay at some point. I, I can help Dragon you. Dragon a pretty good place to start. I yeah. Know. I feel bad because like I only had a carry on and I was like I should have stuffed the costume in there. The um the cool thing about Dragon Con though is that it's so inclusive that um if you do want to uh, cosplay you don't have to go like spend a thousand dollars and get some. Um, I mean you can if you're you into can, it. You yeah. totally should. Yeah. But you, you can, can also just make just, your own thing. You can, yeah. yeah. You can just go to like Walmart and pick up stuff and yeah. and that's still you're still going to be considered yeah. one of one of us. Yeah, and that's how I that's how I that's how I started doing cosplay too. It was like I'm from Puerto Rico and the cosplay scene like is a thing now, but like 10 years ago back in my day, <laughs> it didn't exist at all. So like we would go to like thrift shops in Puerto Rico and just like buy items and just like learn how to sew and fabric glue stuff together and just like make something that seemed similar to the costume of the character that we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Um that makes sense. Yeah, which which is is how I started. Now, like I I, I make that's my hobby is like I make costumes from scratch. Cool. For it too now, but Dang. I want her to cosplay it, with me. I, it's I just it's interesting hearing your cosplay story though because you know originally from like Kentucky, so like I never really how's the cosplay scene in Kentucky? <laughs> <laughs> so there's this one uh, one special event called Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard of this. I it's think like, so too. It's like a very interesting time. A lot of spooky stuff. So spooky. <laughs> Super spooky. A lot of minions. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, but yeah, so I mean, we never really had that scene though. Like we didn't even, I mean, we have some conventions. Like I was right next to I'm the sure there's a few, somewhere. I'm sure there's yeah. a few conventions. There's conventions everywhere now. Yeah, but like the anime conventions were not in Kentucky. Mm. It wasn't until like I went to Florida that it was like, oh, right, people oh, get together and. Oh, and yeah. be weird together, yeah. We Whoa. all we all just end up looking very my on fleek, <laughs> my like our characters. Yeah. I love this, yeah, yeah. So that and was I've met yeah. I've met so many friends through cosplay too, like people from college that like we reconnected now because like we ran into each other at, at a Texas convention, and now we just go to every single convention together. So yeah, yeah. and some yeah. of my favorite cosplayers have actually been your friends, which which I didn't know. Really? Yes, I've met some of her friends before when they were cosplaying. Such and then I found world. out that they were part of like a network, cosplay network. That's really cool. <laughs> That's nice. You need to cosplay, Rachel. Who would you cosplay? That's a question. Duh, Joseph Joestar. Joseph Joestar. <laughs> Sorry, I just got into like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You okay. just got into it. It's been a year. So I just got into JoJo's Bizarre <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll cosplay Lisa Lisa. Lisa Lisa. Yeah, I love Lisa Lisa. She's I cosplay cool. Yukiko. Let's go. She's cool. We just we just watch anime. We just watch anime. <laughs> That's anime. all we do. Yeah. I 
I totally get that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I just got into um, more and more comic books recently. Mm -hmm. So I've been reading comic books like crazy. Which yeah. ones are you reading? So, um, let's see. I just started reading Saga, which I know Saga's I'm like great. super behind the <laughs> No, I just, I just recently picked it up too. So It's really, yeah. really well done. Yeah. Um, I've had friends telling me about it for like a year now. I'm like, And I read the first few pages and I didn't get into it. I wasn't in the mood mm -hmm. for it. And it is like definitely different. Yeah. Um, and so I didn't read it for many months and I just had it on my bookshelf. Yeah, yeah. And then I was coming to Dragon Con and I was like, all right. I got it. I, I, I need to read at least, yeah. yes. And okay. so I, I, I like powered through the first ten pages, which was not it's not in any way bad at all. It's just no. I, I'd already like had my preconceived notion of, oh, I'm not gonna like this. And then I got past like to page like twelve and I was like, Oh, this is really good and then read the rest of it in one yeah. night. Yeah. And so yeah. No, it's 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 a really good series. I have I think someone gifted me like a big line cat. Plushy. Whoa. That's amazing. Plus, yeah, and I have him next to my bed, and whenever I wake up, I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Lion Cat is probably my favorite. Mine too. Within the he's, entire thing. Oof. He's, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, comic books are great. I'm really yeah. into... I, w I want you. To, I want you to read more comic books too, Rachel. I'll, hey, I've been trying my best. I'm like, time-wise. Time yeah. we, uh, we went to the same college, and yeah. I'm a year above her, so I'm her senpai. I want I want to be your cosplay in comic book senpai. Read Snot Girl. Snot Girl's dope. Read. Ooh, read Bitch Planet. Bitch Planet. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can say Bitch Planet on TV. Oh, please. We just interviewed uh, Kelly Sue. I know. Which I'm very so jealous. I wish I could meet. She's her. fantastic. Amazing. I highly recommend mm -hmm. you you go meet her. She is um, here. She and I believe her husband are also both here. Yeah. yeah I yeah. know she's here definitely. Yeah. Um, but you saw her with your own two well, eyes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But um, she's also, uh, she has her own booth and she's doing, she's talking to people and finding things and doing all the things. So you can go fangirl over, I mean, yeah. I, I fangirled hard I fangirl, yesterday. I fangirl, I fangirl over everyone fangirl on this, too easily. this dumb but convention. But then it's so like, many people. it's definitely a thing, it's like, oh, okay, be professional, you know. Artists. Be professional, but also. Right, in my head I'm freaking out. <laughs> But I'm a, I'm attempting to appear like an adult in front of oh you. Yeah. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Inside, I'm like, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh it's my god, god. It's, the, it's that, it's that, um, that comic that's like, this is fine, everything is fine, mm -hmm. and this is everything's on fire. Yeah. Exactly. That, that <laughs> is exactly. me. You I just plugged that comic. Yeah. Um, Which is a great comic. Is it Casey too. Green? I think so. Mm, if it's not, we should plug to Casey Green. We shouldn't confirm it, confirm it. But no, Casey Green not. is great, though. I think he's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good comic. It's a good comic. Yeah. No, actually. Do we still want to get comics? Because I started reading Keep this talking one. about comics. I started reading this one called uh, Golden Kamui, I think is the name of it. Golden Kamui? Yeah. Oh, okay. That, yeah, one yeah. I, that one I started reading because, mm -hmm. like, originally I was reading, like, Gangsta, and I was reading uh, JoJo. Mm -hmm. But then I discovered this one because someone, I think it was uh, Joe Witt, uh, ended up doing a comic about it. I love and then, you! And then, <laughs> and then I found out... But apparently it's a it's a really interesting premise because mm -hmm. it's like the soldiers in uh, Russo, it was the Russo Japanese War. It was like right after it, and mm -hmm. it's kind of like the consequences of it. Yeah, it's like up up in northern in Hokkaido. And but I also found out it's a comic that's all about food, essentially. Like it's like I, I was reading it and I'm like, oh man, this is really cool. Oh cool, they're like teaching you how to skin a bear or whatever. It looks very, you know, some of it's a little you know you got to get used to it. But uh, then it's like, wait, someone told me it was about food, and then like. Halfway through volume one, it suddenly was just like recipes. Oh my and just god! Like nice. How I'm to very make into this. how to make all the stuff. How in to the make bear nose. soup? Essentially, you you think I'm lying, but it told you. It's like here's how you make the soup. Here's how you make the stew. Here's what you can use on the entire bear. And the like, entire here's, bear. Here's <laughs> Does that mean that if I if I drop you off in like the middle of Alaska, you'll be able to like? Oh, survive no. because of this oh, comic no, no, book? No, 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 no. It, it we have to kill the bear first. Yeah, you have to kill the bear first. That's the hardest part. Thing. <laughs> it, would be, it, it would essentially be like uh, Empire Strikes Back, where it's like the Han Solo Luke thing. That would be me. <laughs> that you, would essentially be me. Have, yeah. you, um, have you ever watched this anime called Tiger Mask? Yes. Tiger Mask W, the tiger first episode. W. The first episode of Tiger Mask W is this guy who's training. He has a mask of a tiger. He's training to like become a really good wrestler, and he's just like, I think he's bound upside down by a rope yep. and then a bear comes <laughs> charging <laughs> and he's like <laughs> and he just like destroys the bear Which and that's what I think Rachel's gonna end up doing the, I can uh, see it oh my but god but yeah actually now I think about it I'm kinda I wish we'd seen a luchador earlier mm. on uh, nice uh, on an elevator on an elevator it was a uh, Nacho Libre 
I think he, I don't know. I think yeah. it was just a luchador. Maybe. I, I like it. My favorite thing, when I cosplay, my favorite thing to do is like when people come for like, I like your cosplay, I'll be like, what cosplay? <laughs> 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 and people would just be like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding," because <laughs> it always makes people so like confused and upset. <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm just kidding. This is, this is my, this is my costume." This <laughs> costume. Yeah. Oh, so that's what I wish would have happened to him. So Sarcasm. good. Mm -hmm. Too much. Just gotta trick him. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> is there is there anything you are both looking forward to? Um, for Ooh. your, are you staying for the next few days? Yeah, we're yes. staying for the next few days. Yeah. Um, I. Mm. I have a panel tomorrow with some podcasters. Yeah, because okay. I have I have a, po a dumb podcast <laughs> about like a Japanese reality show that has like maybe a few people that listen to it. Nice. Terrace House. Yeah. It's a very good show. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. <laughs> um, this is my official plug. Um, and honestly, we're just looking forward to like being on the Walk of Fame and just like meeting people. Yeah. Yeah. We we are. I I think you might as well. But like I know Sammy, mm. who's Samantha Noya Hart, who's also with us. Um, me and her are going to be donating part of our proceeds to Hurricane Harvey victims mm -hmm. since we came from Texas. Um, so that's something that we're excited to yeah, yeah. donate money for. Yep. So Yeah, okay. it's always really good when we can do stuff like that. I love yeah. coming out to conventions and then just being able to help benefit other charities too. Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's, it's really fun. And the main thing that I don't know. It makes it much better when you're able to actually like get something positive outside of this experience. Yeah. It's that's really not cool. just hanging out with Natural Libre all day. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fun. Which, Which is, is fun. Also also Which is fun, but also, positive. yeah, it's yeah. another positive. There's bound to be a wrestler charity out there. Bound to, be. bound to be. Yeah. Well, um, actually, Dragon Con is donating um, a 25000 25, yeah. yeah. to Hurricane Harvey yeah. and their official charity. So each year they choose a different mm -hmm. charity. Mm -hmm. So this year it's the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics, Olympics yeah. of Atlanta. Yeah, we, we saw, saw that, that too. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, which yeah. we're also, we're also going to be donating. We do donated like a few... Um, a few items to be chari to be yeah. auctioned off. Yeah, about we did. A charity yeah. auction. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw a tweet, something about a poster. Was it yeah, there's yes? a poster. What? Which there's two mean? posters. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, you took me a minute. I was sorry. like, was like, which who tweeted? There's supposed to be more posters, but something happened at the airport that I'm not gonna talk about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry to bring that up. No, no, it's, no I'm but still there salty. There are there are two understand. posters. There are two posters signed by the Ruby crew, the yeah. Ruby, um, that are going to be auctioned off at the charity auction. Cool, mm -hmm. yeah. that's awesome. And then I have two, because I did not bring my posters, I have two um, I have two prints of original pieces that are also to be auctioned yeah. off. So. That's really sure. cool. Mm -hmm. very, and very cool. where are they? Are they part of the art show auction? They're part of the, I think they're part of the charity auction because we handed okay. them in when we checked yeah. in. Yeah. Cool, so awesome. Should be I able to see so. them there. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think I so, believe so. Cool. Yes. Um, if not, I mean, just check the app. Google it. Or <laughs> look Google up it. the information. I'm kidding. I mean. But still, yeah, you know. So there's only cool. a certain amount of things that this head there's, can hold. So. There's also, yeah, there's so much, like, information. There's so I much mean, stuff going on. There I tried is. to look up the schedule even recently and was like, okay, so I know that these people are coming. And then, like, I found out there's even more people coming. And, and you're like, like oh, oh, no. This is so overwhelming. No. I think, like, the biggest thing, too, is, yeah, just trying to schedule everything and get everything planned out panel-wise. Because mm -hmm. there's just certain things where I'm like, okay, I really want to do this, this, and this. But then, like, I get so sidetracked that mm -hmm. then I'm like, okay, well, okay, I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to go do this other thing instead. And that's cool. That's actually really, really cool yeah. to see that there's so much to do, and there's always something going on. Um, you not might be missing out, like but <gasps> you'll still be getting you'll still have a great experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're, you can't be in three places. Con, you're always going to miss out at a certain point because there's going to be things that yeah. so much stuff that happens. And getting from point A to point B in this con is like a trek. I love so. it. Just getting your steps. Yeah, I'm getting my steps. That's right. Steps. Yesterday, I have a Fitbit. I have a 10,000 <laughs> Fitbit step limit. Good. I got like 17,000 yesterday. That is amazing. Which is ridiculous because I was on the on a plane for two hours. So that's amazing. Good job, Andre. I don't know. I think it was the K-pop <laughs> dance party. Most of it, honestly. It was, it was probably the K-pop. It's probably the K-pop. I mean, if if anything should deserve all those steps, it it's kind of is a K-pop yeah. dance party. So. Yeah. yeah. But it was really fun. We've been having. We've had. Over 24 hours here at Dragon Con, so we're excited to have the rest of the 72. So cool. Yeah, we're so looking much. forward to it. Well, it sounds like you guys are both going to have a blast. Thank you both for coming. Thank, Thank you for you. having yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you for having um, us. And have a wonderful rest of your first con. And please come back next year. Oh, we would yeah. love to. That would we be really awesome. want to come back. So. That would yeah. be super cool. Cool. Well, that is us again with, uh, awesome. with Andrea and Rachel. And uh, we'll be back with more. Bye. Bye. Bye.